Hey, welcome to a new game, Portal Reloaded. Now, this is quite different from Ordinary Portal. Um, this is a fan-made mod of the game. The Steam page says it's a mod for Portal 2, and I do need to own Portal 2 to play it, but it is a separate thing in Steam, so I don't know. But anyway, it's effectively fan-made Portal 3, with a whole new layer of complexity. And I'll explain it as we get in. Go. Hello, test subject. Four, five, zero, nine. You have been in stasis for... 16 days and... Four decades. Welcome to the Aperture Science Long-Term Human Storage Vault. You have been selected to take part in a very special testing course. How long are the gaps between the voice over Federal these? regulations require us to inform you that the testing ahead may result in slight cases of sore throat or blurry vision. Or death. If you experience any of the aforementioned side effects, please do not hesitate to write them down in your test report. Okay. I forget which tube we're going up. I have played just the opening of the game to test it out, so I kind of know what's going on here, and it's this not really a tube will take you to your testing area. Okay, this you one. You will be further instructed there. Right. Good luck. And up we go. Whee! Okay. Tube time. Now we get to explore all of Aperture Science. And it's many... I'm not sure what you would call it. But this is just a big system of tubes everywhere and if you've played Portal 2 you've explored a lot of places like this and it is very very surreal I might no I don't think I'll play Portal 2 on the channel I've played it many times before it's not really a challenge anymore at this point here we are that's why I'm playing to the enrichment center. these automated messages will guide you through your test today the door in front of you is programmed to open in approximately 20 years. This test can be solved in two different ways. Option one, wait patiently. Option two, time travel to the future. Yep. The choice is yours. However, if you prefer time travel, the enrichment center will provide you the means to pursue that option. The time portal will open and testing will begin in three, two, one. There it is. The time portal. This is where the complexity of Reloaded comes in. You have to deal with time. Welcome to the future. Time traveling through portals will be an essential part of this testing course. In order to help you distinguish between the present and the future, this part of the enrichment center has been left untouched for the last 20 years. You may see some signs of decay. Oh boy. Don't worry. The enrichment center is designed to withstand centuries without proper maintenance. Yeah, it doesn't Find look a way like that. To exit the chamber. Okay, something's up with my mouse here. Okay, mouse is still a bit iffy, but it's fine now. So, I presume this button, the only thing in the chamber, is what I have to press. Yep, new portal. Welcome back to the present. If you are ever unsure which timeline you're in, simply observe your environment. The present should always look a bit cleaner than the future. Yeah, just... just a bit. So, I've already done like the first four chambers of this, 
But that'll give me time to this explain the complaints to the game. subject teleportation device will dematerialize your body and rematerialize it in the next chamber. This process is absolutely safe. Usually. Usually. Perfect portal, always putting you in danger for no reason. I do personally quite like this way of transportation as opposed to the these next usual chapters games. will involve cube and button based testing with the perks of time travel. Oh yeah, this one's a doozy. This is by far the easiest in the game, yet it still took me about 20 the minutes to figure out. in the present will appear in the same position in the future. Moving oh, no, a cube I'm of a in the present one. will automatically update the level. Nice try, but bringing a present cube to the future violates the laws of causality and is therefore impossible. Yeah, it, it takes that into account. This game is crazy, to say the least. So, moving the cube in the present here will mean that in this world, this future like version this. of the cube can be moved freely. Good. Please continue to the next chamber. Yeah. We'll get into more complexity with that in, I think, the next chamber? I forget what order it's all in. Oh. Right. You complete this one in the future where everything's uh, a bit decrepit. Understanding the concept of cause and effect will be vital to solving the upcoming tests. Simply put, everything you do in the present has an impact on the future, but not the other way around. Yep. Remember that. Here's the doozy. Now this one, quite simple. You've got one cube, two buttons, both buttons need to be pressed to open the door. So, first, what you do, put a cube on a button. It doesn't work. Step on the button, oh, now the door's open. Whoops, not anymore, you can't walk through it. So, what do you do? Two buttons, only one cube. Seems impossible. But, if you take the cube from the future, take it into the past, oh wait, I've done this out of order now, since, watch the future cube, gone. You have to move the past cube first. So that way, you can have both on the button. Good thinking. While it is impossible to bring a present cube to the future, this clever trick allows you to have two versions of the same cube in one timeline. This will prove to be very useful in future chambers. Oh boy. Okay, so you can see where this gets a bit tricky. That chamber took me about 10 minutes to figure out. And I just blasted through it here. And honestly, I forget about this one. So, I need to get to the door, and there's a button. Press the button, now I've got a cube. So, cube on the button, and it drops this down. Aha. Aha, aha, aha. This is what I do. I put the, the present cube on top of there or just anywhere in reach really, then pick it up in the future, take the future cube into the present, put that on the button, ah, I can't put it on the platform like that. I seem to remember making exactly the same mistake before. Right. I put it on the button in the future, not the button in the past. There's a whole world of complexity to do here. So now, stand on here, pick up the cube, and it lifts me up. Oh, the puzzles. The Always brain remember, hurting. If you change the destiny of an object in the present, the future version of that object will be affected as well. This is a whole world of complexity. If this sounds too complicated, you're in luck. 
the next chain will only heavily rely on your understanding of this very basic concept. I think this part had a bit of difficulty loading, that's where the the big white wall came from. Right. So, when this button is pressed, it lifts that up, but it doesn't let me open the door. So, ah, oh, first of all, I gotta get through there. So, in the future, I can get the cube. So, bring that to the present, where I can make myself a, a little step stool, so that I can get the cube in the pr in yes present cube and then huh right put the cube in its little dock and now go and grab the future cube here in the little dock there's only really one way to do this and you gotta figure it out slowly I'm just remembering how I solved this before. These chambers were a hell of a lot harder the first time round. Good. But you By can now, see the way you things work. Understand the concept of cause and effect, and how cubes behave Hang in on. different timelines. I'm, I'm just doing now, exactly what this voiceover guy is doing. more interesting. I'm just explaining what's going on, and the the various concepts involved. Now, for the moment you've been waiting for, the Krabby Patty proudly presents the Triple Portal Device. This marvelous device will allow you to place three different portals. For now, however, to introduce you to the concept of portals in different timelines, the time portals will be placed for you. Right. So this is about where I stopped playing and decided it would be good to make a video on this. Now this is where ordinary portal concepts come into play, just, you know, the ordinary red and... the... not the red and green, the orange and blue. Ah, oh, Chell looks different. Well, that's all fairly simple, fairly easy to understand. It's the time stuff that we're here for. Time portal over there, and I can see the other... I can see the future isn't loaded yet. Why should I shoot on the other wall instead of the one that I was right next to? I don't know. Anyway. Now. This is where layers of complexity get involved. So yeah, I need to get over there. But there's no walls here for me to shoot on. And I can't do it... Wait. No, this is identical. What's stopping me from a just placed in the present will appear on the same surface in the future. Yeah, what's stopping me from doing that? Aha! This wall that I can't get past. So I need to go back over to here. Leave an orange portal there, because it's there now. And then come down here. And that brings me over to here. A portal placed in the future will not here. override its existing location in the present. Yep. Good. Thinking in four dimensions means not only knowing where to place your portals, but also when. Yeah. This is... <sighs> this is crazy. Alright, that's the only portable surface. So, now I come up here. Oh, and it's just straight to the door. Right. Oh. Please ignore that. The decay of this facility over the past 20 years may have caused the destruction of some portal surfaces. Try to find a way around this. Okay. Right, so give me the time portal. I probably need to put a portal past the broken glass. Ah. See, it's not there in the present. Ah. Right. Ah! Ah! Aha! Portal over there, portal there, and now, uh, wrong side. 
it was this one. And now I can go through this one and make it over here that I couldn't get to before. Now back in the present, what is available to me? I need to get over there. So how do I do it? Um, what if I come back here? No, I don't think that helped anything. Oh! No! No, 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 no! I get it now. So, orange there, blue there. Come through here. Make a new portal. So now there's still a blue over there. And I can walk over to this side. I get it! I get it! Nicely done. Whoa. Because time portals exist in exactly the same location in both timelines, they can only be Wait. placed on surfaces which are intact in both the present and the future. Mm. This next chamber will involve the concept of momentum-based traveling through portals. You go in fast, you come out fast. Simple enough. Okay, now we're adding velocity to the mix. And it, the game expects me to be here for a while because now it's playing music. Right, so, first of all, I'm going to make my way up Touching here. Touching the material emancipation grills will cause any ordinary portal to fizzle. Time portals are not affected. Right. If a portal closes in the present, it will also close in the future. So think about where and when to pass through them. Right. So... Ah, aha. Uh -huh. So, if I have a portal down there, and I have a portal up there, that'll stay in here. Now, I can go back to the future, and I can do what I did before to get up here. Then go back to the future, or the present, and now the portals are still there. That trick is going to be utilized a lot. So now I'm back here. Right, and I need a portal up there, and leave that blue portal there, go back to the future, do this jump again to get extra height, go to the next, go back to the present, I'm losing track of time, literally, <laughs> and now we're at the door. Outstanding. Now that you know all the essentials, how about shooting some hangers. time portals of your own? Oh boy, now I can now I control my own time portals. How is this gonna turn out? I'll we'll just have to wait and see. Ahead of you is the Aperture Science Time Ooh. Portal Activation Force Field. This field will activate and deactivate your ability to shoot time portals. It will oh. not visit your portals or destroy cubes. Oh, so wait. Aha, it is middle mouse button. <laughs> it feels weird being able to see the green portal on any wall I want. And also, it doesn't have the same animation, it just kind of appears. Oh, okay. Wait, I'm going to do the, the thing I saw on the Steam reviews a lot doing that but okay no it's it doesn't let me touch it briefly okay that's good to know yet if I come through here it doesn't let me right so now we get into the layer of time portals do I want to go on from here because I'm about at the edge of my allotted time and I'm not sure I'll be able to complete this next puzzle in time because all the others I had done before so I kind of knew how to solve them but these ones I don't and this is where the fun begins but I think it'll be cool to leave it on a cliffhanger 
You get the idea of how this works. Thinking in four dimensions, as the game says. It's very, very complicated, as I have demonstrated. So, yeah, if this turns out well, I'll keep going. Otherwise, I guess I'll leave it here. But that's enough for this video. Also, I feel like the audio might be a bit iffy, because OBS isn't giving me any good signs here. But anyway, that's enough for this video. I'll, I'll get back to this soon, hopefully. Bye.